Hi everyone, um, my name is Lee, uh, also known as Cola Flipper. Um, I'm a part-time reseller in the UK. Um, we're now at the end of April 2020, um, so still in lockdown. And um, that means that we don't have much in the way of sourcing opportunities. So at the moment, I'm going through my backlog, uh, my pile of shame. Um, so I thought we could discover what I've still got in stock uh, to sell together because I I know I've got boxes of shoes but I'm just not entirely sure what I've got in there. So um, these are a couple of boxes that I've had and haven't seen the light of day since the end of the last car boot season. So sort of at least September, October time um, 2019. So um, let's, let's have a look and see what I've actually got. So this box is labelled up as pretty damn clean. So let's see what I've actually got. So we've got a fairly hideous pair of pink Ugg boots. Um, not much in the way of wear on the soles, a little bit towards the heel, but not too bad. Um, you can tell they're real Ugg boots inside. If you look for the label, you'll have codes on there which you'll be able to check. And one of them should have, yeah, so in one boot only, you'll have one that has QR code on it and usually some sort of hologram. This one doesn't. The other thing you can check is the, the lining if it's real sheepskin, basically it's one piece of sheep. So you've got the, 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 the suede bit here, which is the same piece as the, the, the wool on the outside. If you can pull them apart, then it's not genuine, it's fake. So this is genuine suede. Um, paint Uggs. Uh, Uggs, as long as I clean them up, and these will clean up nicely. Uh, I'll do a video of how to, to clean up Ugg boots at some point. Um, they clean up nicely. I should be able to get somewhere between 25 and 45, depending on the time of year. Um, I'm quite happy to, to leave them sitting until next year, uh, or when it's uh, colder and later in the year. So yes, coming up for um, uh, May soon. So not, not really the time in, uh, of the year to, to get your best prices. But I'll get them cleaned up, get them listed, and just leave them sitting there till, um, till they go through. I, I don't need the money right now. So it's uh, as as and when they sell. That's that's fine by me. So a pair of bugs, yeah, twenty five thirty quid hopefully. Uh, we have got what are these. These are a pair of misguided heels. I wouldn't have paid more than a pound. Oh, so these these I got in a local charity shop, and I would have paid paid eight pound for those. I remember that. So these are a pair of misguided um, heels. So at the time I didn't know that misguided weren't a particularly expensive brand, but I wouldn't have paid more than a pound or two for these at the car boot sale. Heel tips are in pretty good condition. Um, not a particularly good quality pair of shoes. I think I'll be lucky to get anywhere around the sort of 15, 17 pound for those. These, are, these prices that I'm quoting, what I should get, I will be charging postage on top. So I usually charge uh, £3.25 uh, for second class post um, if it's going, to, going as recorded. So if, if the value of the item is going to be closer to the £50 mark, I usually put it for um, uh, second class recorded, so charge them £4. Okay, we've got a slightly better quality pair here. So we have got a pair of Nine West heels. Strappy sandals, relatively good condition. This, the insides, there's some marking. To be honest, I picked up a lot of these when I was fairly inexperienced. Wouldn't have paid more than about two pounds for these. Again, nice bit of detail on the healing on the heel that it's a, a twisted heel. Heel tips are in good condition. You can see not worn very much, but there are some marks on the inside. Um, I would have said that, again that I'll probably only get fifteen odd pounds for those, but. Again, from, from a pound or two to 15, that's fine by me. Um, these are, I, I'm not a fan of wedges, but these are Aldo. Aldo's a pretty decent brand. Uh, so you can see again, these decent quality heel. Um, need to give them a bit of a clean up. Um, 
yeah, I hate wedges, but Aldo should sell pretty well. So again, I should be able to get around the twenty pound mark for those. What have we got next? We've got ah Carvella. So Kurt Geiger, Carvella. These you they tend to go quite well. Uh, somewhere around the sort of twenty twenty five pound mark I should get for these. These are in very good condition. So nice suede heel tips, barely worn actually. Um, but judging by the height of them. I don't know how you could walk very much in these anyway. So yeah, these need barely any clean up. These are in pretty good nick. So with them um, suede, I used um, a suede brush so I just put all the nap in the same direction and you won't get any marks on it. But those are in pretty good nick. Uh, what have we got here? Okay, some. Steve Madden sandals. Actually, I want to get these listed as soon as possible. So these again, couple of pounds I would have paid for these. The time marks I'll be able to clean these out so that does need a little bit of cleaning. You can see they are used um, but what is not so good as you can see here the, the Steve Madden are not as good as I thought they were they're quite expensive but actually the inside this is faux leather and the top layer is peeling off so even though I'll clean these up look at that that's, that's falling apart so yeah, not ideal. I don't even know if I'll be able to sell these, but I'll, I'll just mark them up as, as very cheap because the, the linings are going. So when you are sourcing your shoes, check the insides, make sure the linings aren't splitting. That might have happened over storage over the winter. So um, either that is the fact that I haven't stored it particularly well or the fact that I missed it when I bought them. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got some jean flip-flops. So this will clean up, sticky stuff removal will get rid of that. Um, and these are genuine leather as well. So they're quite nice little flip flops, but those should clean up quite well. Again, I wouldn't have paid more than a pound or so for those, pound or two, um, should get somewhere in the region of 15 for those. Not a huge amount to make, but it's it's not too bad. And at a pound, it's not, you're not really risk uh, an awful lot. Uh, what have we got here? So, Natural bit of designer gear here, so Kenzo shoes, but to be honest, they're fairly ugly. So I just need someone who has expensive taste that likes ugly shoes. So these are suede. Um, you can see they're expensive and you can feel they're expensive by the way they're made, but I don't think these are gonna particularly go for an awful lot. So uh, what I'll probably do is list them high, sort of maybe 40, but I'll look at the comparables put them up high and if they don't sell after a month I'll drop them by five or a month and just see how that goes. Um, good thing with Kenzo is you know, you've know you got your leather sole, uh, you've got a suede upper and you've got a leather inner so high quality and you don't get the splitting problems you do with when you've got the PU leather um, inners. Uh, we have got a pair of Miss KG so again from the Kurt Geiger family um, but this is sort of their more entry level brand. Um, minimal wear on the soles, heels are in reasonably good knit, but I always check when I'm buying your shoes, look for wear around here, it's where people catch them. Um, but these are in pretty reasonable condition. So again, this will just need a, a clean up with a suede brush, that'll be okay. And the last set I've got in this box are, again, another set of Aldo shoes. These are quite small, these are a 36. Um, so a little bit of a, a platform on these. These just need a, a wipe over, they need hardly any cleaning at all. So quite happy with those. Probably smaller than I really would have normally gone for. But again, I don't know whether these are gonna sell very well. Normally I would have thought these would be a good summer seller, but for the fact that at the moment we've got, um, people aren't allowed out unless they've, um, they're going out for exercise. Don't know if these are really gonna sell very well. So that is box number one. Um, I'll just go and grab box number two. Okay, on to box two. Uh, the last box said pretty clean, and most of the shoes were pretty clean. This one says trainers too clean, so I'm assuming this is a box full of dirty trainers. Let's see, so again, these um, would have all been picked up at car boot sales um, in the end of last year. So let's see what we've got. So first pair we've got in here are a pair of New Balance 574s, suede. 
in pretty good condition. So the things I look at when I'm buying trainers are the, the insides of the heels worn. If there's any sort of holes at all, um, absolutely useless. There's no point, no one's gonna to wanna to buy them. Just check that it's not got a collapsed heel counter. Um, again, when you're dealing with shoes, you've got to not be squeamish. You're gonna have people with stinky feet. You can clean all that sort of stuff up. Um, but, well, there's, mo there's money. So these are pretty dirty condition, but the actual suede and the, the construction of the shoes in good condition is, Minimal wear on the heel. You can see there's very even on the on the heel edge. So when you're taking pictures of the shoes, you, should, you definitely want to show the sole to show it's in good condition. And that makes it more saleable. So these will clean up quite well. Got no qualms about those at all. Um, I wouldn't have paid more than about five for these. Absolute maximum. I can't actually remember how much I paid for these. It was last year. Um, but these should go. I'll put them up by now. Probably. 30, maybe 30 50, and hopefully get somewhere around the 25 pound plus postage mark for that. So a decent margin on those. Next, we have a pair of pink suede Nike Air Force Ones. Um, with Nike trainers, you always wanna make check your uh, the code on the inside. There'll be a little code on the inside. Let me just get in close. Be a code on there somewhere which you can look up so you can sneakily have a look on your phone and, and check that, the, that it's not a fake and check the right colorways that that entire code um i'll be able to check it will it'll come up with the the picture basically if you google it so you can make sure you you've got the right shoes there um again checking the heels the heels are in in pretty good condition not much in the way of of wear so quite happy with those um so again they do need a clean but not too bad. Um, I've got specific suede cleaners, so I'll probably do a, a, a video of how to clean shoes at some point. Again, inside the heel is in pretty good shape. In the soles are a bit dirty, but I'll need to give those a clean. Um, but yeah, I'll be able to get somewhere in the, in the region of um, 25 pounds for those. Okay, what else do we have? Well, have loads of Nike Air Force Ones in here. So, another dirty pair of Nike Air Force Ones. These will need a decent clean. You can see the, the actual material on the inside is actually pretty dirty. So these probably will need to go through the washing machine, um, but I will give them a clean up first. It's not a problem putting shoes through the washing machine. Just don't do them um, too hot because you could, the glues can, can um, uh, degrade. So you can see it's fairly dirty in there. So these will definitely need a clean. But before sticking in the washing machine, I'll give them a, a, a decent once over. To, to get the, the excessive dirt off because I don't want to ruin my washing machine either. Um, these are a little more worn on the heels, but otherwise in pretty good condition. Um, Air Force Ones, uh, brand new, you, you're looking in the region of sort of 70, 80 quid, 70, 80 pounds, but second hand, it, it really does vary. There's so many out there that you don't necessarily always get a great price for them. So the last pair I sold went for 22 quid and they went, um, Strangely went to Australia. Um, nothing else to say on these, a, another pair, these are just black ones. So they, you know, Air Force ones are always popular. The plain ones will always sell. They just don't sell for a huge amount of money. But if you're only paying up a couple of pounds, say three, four pounds, and you can sell them on for, for somewhere between 15 and 20, there's money to be made. So again, dirty, do need to clean. Uh, another set to keep an eye out for are Nike Air Harachis. Um, I still remember wanting a pair of these when I was in my sort of mid-teens uh, in the 90s. So again, these are fairly dirty. Things to always check when you're getting Harachis. Um, you always wanna make sure that this rear rubber isn't actually split because that's integral to the, the, the shoe. Um, other than that, you can't really go far wrong. They're in good condition, just check the, the soles, just make sure that soles are in good condition. The heels are good. There's a decent amount of um, wear left in the heel there. So pretty happy. And it's always worth doing the bend test. When you bend a shoe, if it cracks, you can see if there's a crack across there. You should always do that when you're you know, at a car boot seller in a charity shop. It's always worth doing because if you're spending in a charity shop a little bit more, say five, six, seven, ten pounds on a pair of trainers, what you don't want is to buy them and then them to fall apart um, or for you to sell them. And then the, the, the purchaser, the, the end buyer on, on eBay buy them and then you, you don't want to get a ding and, and look like a, a poor quality seller. So these, again, I wouldn't have paid more than a fiver for these. 
relatively good condition. They just need to clean up. They're pretty, pretty dirty. But again, uh, my last set of Hirachis went to uh, France and they were 20, 22 pound plus postage. Um, I just realized I'm calling them Hirachis because that's what it looks like it says. But I did look it up. Apparently it's a um, Mexican tribe, Huarache. So I've been saying it wrong for, since 1995. Okay, we've got a pair of Adidas, um, Adidas Stan Smiths, quite a small size. Um, they're, they're, they're a classic shoe. They, they did used to go quite well, but even now I've started to struggle because so many people are selling them now second hand. Um, these will clean up really, really nicely. Again, you can see not a huge amount in the way of, uh, way of heel wear. These will clean up nicely. Um, but I should get in the region of 15, 17, 18, 20 pounds, depending. Um, so those will clean up nicely, got no problems with um, selling those. Okay, let's have a look. So next, we have a pair of Adidas Superstar shell toes. Uh, as you can see, it's embossed in there, shell toe, uh, sorry, Superstar, that's the shell toe. And underneath, you always want to make sure you've got uh, the imprinted Adidas there. Again, th for checking these are real, you want to make sure that it's got the Adidas in there. And then that is what genuine Adidas labels look like. Um, so in there, you've got, can't always find it online, but that little art number there, if you can see that, that art number, you can usually look that up on Google and it will tell you, um, the original full name and, and colorway of the shoe. Um, Superstars, if they were just a normal black and white pair, probably looking at somewhere about the 15, 18, 20 pound mark, depending on how quickly you want to shift them. Things that are not great about these, I'm gonna to have to replace the laces. So I, I buy laces in bulk um, through eBay, so I buy them in packs of 25 or 50. So um, the more you buy, the, the cheaper it is. If you're only buying a couple, it's, it's fairly expensive. If you're buying 40 or 50 in a pack, um, it's not too bad. Um, again, problems that I probably didn't notice at the time. The bit of heel wear, I'm trying to get this to focus, sorry. That's not brilliant, there's some wear on that. Um, and I've also noticed on this one, look, some wear on that inside edge and not on that one, so you can see that. So that's going to impact the price. Um, Things that are good that these are the um, got the lenticular um, changing color size, which brings up the prices. So these these will clean up nicely. Um, swap out the laces. Um, not much wear on the bottom. Quite happy with that. But I I clearly overlooked things when I bought these at the car boot. So I wouldn't have paid more than three four pound for these um, in that sort of size. So not not dead sure what I'll get on that with the damage. Um, I might just try and bang them out. 12, 15 pounds just to, to basically cover my costs, get them out of the house. I don't want to store stuff that's not going to make me a lot of money. Um, let's have a look. And this is a fail. Okay, these are fake. I didn't know an awful lot when I first uh, started buying, but you can see that is a completely different label to the other superstars. So, fake label, real label. You'll always have a QR code, sizes for different countries, but in that there is some dodgy looking barcode, which makes no sense. What else looks bad on these? They just feel light, they feel too light. The soles look like they're a different material to what I would expect. Ah, here we go. So on the genuine one, got that nice clear Adidas there. Got nothing on these. Uh, they're just worn really badly. So these are pretty much useless and I'll just charity shop those. I don't sell fake trainers. So that is a fail. Wouldn't have paid more than two quid for them. Um, and to be honest, I don't pick up kid sizes anymore. Um, I thought I'd, you'd get a decent price and you don't. So that is a good example of a fail.
other things that you can see the labels coming off on the rear so yeah these are cheap to so that was um uh, and it's a fail but it's not an expensive fail it's not the end of the world uh, another pair of stan smiths nice thick laces these are real i mean that again you you've got a bit of marking on on the print but again these are a little bit fancy because they get the fancy colors going on um bit of wear to the heels got the correct labeling on the inside um but otherwise in pretty good condition these will clean up nicely should get in the region of somewhere at 15 to 20 depending on how quick i want to shift them wow there's a lot of adidas in here so another pair of superstars uh, these are uh, a UK 7 men's, so it says in there, male, UK 7, so a little bit on the small side, I usually try and not go any lower than the 7 for a men's size, um, but the leather's in good condition, so these will clean up nicely without any problems, minimal heel wear, again you can see the idea, so you know that's real, um, I think it's nice these have got a little bit of gold labelling, so these will clean up nicely, um, I'll need to pull out the insoles, give those a scrub, but yeah, they'll, they'll be fine. I should be able to get 20 odd quid for those. And last pair, another pair of Adidas. So these, rather than being fashion trainers, these look more like an actual sports trainer. So that sort of studded sole, I'm going to guess these are for cricket. Um, so a nice leather tongue. Leather toe tip, minimal wear on those. And again, UK nine, decent men's size. Says it's for male there, and I've got the art numbers, so I should be able to look up and find out the the, the specific model name. So I know whether they are cricket or bowls or, or whatever. But these are uh, more of a sporting, an actual sportsman shoe, um, which does add value. Um, you tend to find that if people go for a specific sport they're going to want to get the gear but if they're new to the sport they don't want to spend the money on it so um i think thinking back probably four or five quid for these um i haven't done the research yet i need to have a look but i would have sh it should be an easy 25 pounds but um i shall uh, give you an update as and when they sell so um yeah that's reasonable so um that is um kind of a haul but from last year so that's two boxes of shoes uh two one two three four five six there's a it we've probably got 200 quid in here at least so um yeah not not too bad so um that is it for the moment hopefully that gives you um i don't know a little bit of information about what to, to keep an eye out for um when you're sourcing shoes all of these I wouldn't have paid anywhere more. That, so the the more expensive ones probably paid up up to fiver for the the decent quality um, pink Nike um, Air Force ones, uh, but the kids' shoes with the smaller size is probably two pounds. So there's there's money to be made. So there should be a clear tenner's profit on each pair of shoes at least. Some of them uh, I should be able to get twenty pounds profit. So um, yeah, hopefully that helps. Uh, happy hunting. And um, I'll catch up with you next time. Bye-bye.